Well, hello. So we're going to finish the discussion of this uh, fifth section, uh, sorry, session, um, dealing with uh, policy models for discriminative uh, classification. In particular, we want to discuss two um, applications, if you want to call it like that, of this, of this particular method. So one of them is online learning. And in online learning, uh, what we are trying to solve is when we have some stream of data, how can we do the, the learning based on, on the past experience and continue updating our, our model, then our weights, right, the parameters based on this data. And one way of posing this particular problem is through online learning. And online learning is dealing with the problem of uh, minimization regret. Regret in the sense that if I had access to the whole set of data <clears throat> and I can find the optimum parameter over here, how bad I, 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 I made that call, right? So what I'm doing is like at each particular time step, I want to make my, my prediction of, of this T. And then I want to compare that prediction with respect of the optimum that I will get from the whole sequence. And my whole objective is trying to minimize this regret, okay? And again, we will have the same problems as we were discussing in, in the whole um, session. And this is that we don't have a closed form for this. So we will need to use our um, gradient descent to solve it. So basically, what we can do here is just to provide some, what is called online gradient descent. And this way is just to apply the, the same update that we had before, right? Like I just want to update my, my theta k we're using some, through some learning rate and the gradient of, of my function. But instead of just doing it in, in, the, in the original space, I'm going to want, I want to do some projection, this projection theta that I have here. And this projection, it just works as follows. Like the projection of in this space new, what I have, um, it is just taking the minimum, um, the vector that minimizes the difference between my, my argument and the space that is spanned by, by this new over here. So in other words, what I'm doing is like take my argument and from that argument, just search in this projection space, which element is closer to it according to some uh, norm. And then just use that instead. That, that's the whole idea. So I'm just doing the projection of this uh, whole, whole space. Uh, my gradient is nothing else but the gradient with respect of this uh, F function in that particular spot. And another application that I want to discuss and that also appears in the book is the risk minimization. Um, basically the idea is that I just want to minimize the expected value of some function F, right? I want to, to, to do some stochastic optimization because my interest vari uh, variables are just uh, random variables too. And the whole idea of this stochastic optimization here is that I'm going to do some stochastic gradient descent. So instead of just doing the normal gradient descent, I'm just going to go and take the average of different theta that I just uh, solve over there. And this estimator uh, can be used in this polygroupert averaging. Um, basically what I do is just take, again, it's just my, my normal optimization rule. I just take the previous parameter in this uh, stochastic way. And then I'm just going to, to take the difference and then apply it, okay? And these, these ways of, of working is, are really nice because if you remember, since we have a really Bayesian view of the whole modeling, when we have the, the estimation of theta with respect of a set of data, this is proportional to estimating the data, uh, sorry, this is proportional to the data in the k step, given the theta, times theta estimated from the, the previous one. So we can change these estimations by just making some prediction in the partition of the data in the previous steps. So this is gets really uh, useful when doing this type of online learning or online data. When you have a stream of data and then you just want to use it, and instead of Recomputing the whole model, you can just simply update it. And these update rules follow our, our whole uh, estimation. So they, they become more, more robust. There are a lot of different things that we didn't cover in, this, um, in these divisions that are in the book that I suggest you to go and, and check them out because they are really 
really interesting uh, to read, okay? See you in the next session.